Happy Galentine's, everybody. Here we are, 13th of February, and it's been a beautiful day, but things are about to change. Now, look for some partly cloudy skies, and you can feel the chill in the air. We have cold air coming down from Canada, and then we're in for rain and a wintry mix and even some snow in our lower elevations Wednesday through Thursday, mainly Wednesday night through Thursday. Part of the day Thursday, it'll start to break up a little bit later. Heavy snow Wednesday through Friday in areas including the mountains, the Simcoe Highlands, the Cascade Mountains, Columbia River Gorge, and uh, some of our low lying areas are going to get a little bit of snow. Plus, the t temperatures continue to drop. Let's take a look at our winter storm warnings and advisories around the area. We're looking at uh, one to two inches above 2,000 feet. There it is. Three to six inches down at the gorge level. So think Hood River area, Simcoe Highlands, this area, four to six inches with difficult travel. We're looking at four to six inches on that I 84 corridor four to 10 inches in the upper elevations of the blues. So very active weather all through the area. If you're planning on traveling over the next couple of days, you'll definitely want to keep track of those pass reports and those road conditions. Temperatures tonight, very chilly. Once again, we're all sitting below the freezing level. 20s for the foothills of the blues, 30 degrees overnight. Hanford Tri-Cities, we're in the low 30s here up in the Yakima Valley, 29 tonight in Ellensburg. And if you notice the chill this morning, we were 20 degrees cooler than this morning than we were 24 hours before. So chilly air definitely and active weather headed our direction. Let's take a look at your Valentine's Day forecast. So we start out with uh, partly cloudy skies, maybe even some sun breaks right through lunchtime. By dinner, though, we'll start to get wet. Rain showers then transition into that rain mix with snow. And then as we go through the night into Thursday morning, you're going to start to see snow showers and some accumulation through the area. To find out just how much snow we're going to get in our lower elevations. Tune in tonight at 5, 6, and 11.